Welcome back to Why in the Morning Special. Thanks to Alex for that informative and amazing interview. Uh, for sure, it's time for another interview. And this one is in the music business. I have a very special gentleman. Before I introduce him, White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White254 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Hashtag is Why in the Morning. Hashtag is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Talking about music business. Yes, most of us just get into music uh, for the fame. What uh, Tanzania uh, wanaita Kiki. But I have this gentleman. Man, Cyprian Ungeri, uh, with 10 years' experience in taxation, financial planning, and most importantly, he says, in real life, is in the music business now and is here to share uh, some of uh, the knowledge he has. Karibu sana. Asante sana. All right, your camera is number four. Number four. Uh, if I miss anything on your uh, in the intro about your credentials and everything, I'd like to give people a chance to introduce themselves. Yeah. So your time begins now. Um, my name is Sipre Nungeri. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I'm a taxation and financial planning consultant. Mm -hmm. uh, I deal with, um, basically, issues dealing with comprehensive financial planning, talking mm -hmm. about uh, uh, investment management, cash flow management, looking at uh, risk management, mm -hmm. uh, tax planning, education planning, estate planning, all this, we put it together into a comprehensive financial plan. Mm -hmm. And we also do business advisory, uh -huh. you know, for small businesses. Uh -huh. um, the idea is giving them uh, that feeling of basically working with, a, you know, one like the big four, uh -huh. but with a smaller company that basically understands you much better. All right. Uh, apart from that, I'm basically doing music a lot. Uh, uh -huh. Basically, been in the music industry since 2014 uh -huh. uh, with Jumbo Sound Records, uh -huh. whereby we founded the company, uh -huh. and I'm running it right now as the CEO. The CEO and founder Jumu Sounds Records. Mm -hmm. All these things you've listed, you do them in uh, 24 hours. The same 24 hours I have in a day is the same 24 hours you have in a day. And you manage to do all these things. Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, mm -hmm. Look, uh, you know, man must live. Yeah, man <laughs> must live. Man must live. eat as well. Yeah, man must eat. You uh -huh. know? And, and uh, you know, the economy is not that uh, uh -huh. palatable to us, you know. Uh -huh. So we have to find a way of basically... Uh, running a lot of different things mm -hmm. and, and look at looking at the music perspective in as much as it's a beautiful kind of um, uh, industry you mm -hmm. know it's not very financially motivating right. so sometimes you have to do something else to make sure that you are you know other things run all right. Traditionally in Kenya, we, we don't see so many professionals uh, coming into the music business true yes and uh, Reasons. They have their own reasons. Professionals have their own reasons. There's not enough money in that industry. Yeah. It's a mixed up industry. Legislations are not clear in that industry True. Uh, and whatnot. Uh, you, have a, uh, you have a very uh, good background in finance yeah. and uh, all these things. How did you end up, how, how did you say, how did you get to that point where you say, all right, I'm going to invest my brains in this music business? It's, uh, it's all about passion. You can say mm -hmm. it's all about passion, mm -hmm. you know, and a mix of uh, different other things. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when the way I look at music, the music industry basically, mm -hmm. it's not just uh, the glamour and, and, and the, you know, lights, camera kind mm -hmm. of action stuff. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a business that mm -hmm. I call, in, uh, what basically people call show business. Mm -hmm. It's showbiz. You know, mm -hmm. people just say it's showbiz, mm -hmm. but they forget that there's the show part of it, mm -hmm. then there's the business part of mm -hmm. it. And you, you look at uh, international companies mm -hmm. that basically right now, they make billions mm -hmm. in a year mm -hmm. out of music. Mm -hmm. We don't need to go far and, uh, you know, I can give you examples of, you know, the big uh, companies abroad, but mm -hmm. just go to TZ. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys are raking in a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Diamond is uh, mm -hmm. super big. With the Wasafi label. With the Wasafi <laughs> label. Mm -hmm. So for me, I looked at that and I thought we still have um, uh, an opportunity mm -hmm. in Kenya that we can basically invest in that uh, industry. Mm -hmm and make it more structured. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly how everybody else is doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can do it differently. Every market is unique. Every market is unique. Uh -huh. And everybody comes with their own experience and mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. And I'm using that background basically I have in finance mm -hmm. and marketing and basically mm -hmm. administration, mm -hmm. trying to make the show business. Uh -huh. Now we are moving, the artists are doing the show part of it, which uh -huh. is doing great music uh -huh. and performance and, and appearances, and all that stuff, appearances, dressing up and Instagram and all Facebook. That stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And for me, I'm taking part of the business part of it. Uh -huh. Now, the business part of it is basically taking this exposure that you're getting as an artist, uh -huh. the big name that you have, you're having out there, uh -huh. and transform that 
into monetary values uh -huh. and, and 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 that's now the part that a lot of artists in kenya uh -huh. and a lot of uh, uh labels in uh -huh. kenya actually they are not transforming into a lot of them end up at the show part of it Oi. because it's glamorous it looks good it looks uh -huh. beautiful it's very addictive uh, as well very addictive uh -huh. actually but then now you forget that at the end of the day for an artist to uh -huh. be able to dress uh -huh. and come to a show and perform and do all that uh -huh. stuff you need money sustain that's the money part mm -hmm. that's where basically we are trying to all work. right so that is where you come in as a jumbo jumbo sound jumbo jumbo sound records yeah. and uh this has been alive since 2014 2014 yeah. all right march 17th march 17th you have <laughs> yeah, the exact yeah. date uh the birthday you actually it was a monday oh, it was a monday yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right yeah. i like this uh, you probably remember the 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 what was going on when you guys decided to to make it official yeah, I, I do remember, you know, mm -hmm. the, the whole idea of even uh, sourcing a, a producer. Uh -huh. uh, you see, we, we wanted to create something that will give uh, a lot of artists, especially because we set it up actually initially in Eastland, uh -huh. uh, Comarok, uh -huh. and we are looking at capturing that market uh -huh. of, of uh, the Comarok area, the uh -huh. Eastlands area. Uh -huh. So we are looking at uh, possibility of basically... Which is a very dense population. Very right? dense popula uh -huh. population. Uh -huh. And we are looking at giving uh, a service uh -huh. that artists could afford, uh -huh. but also make sure that we give quality. Uh -huh. Now, getting the producer was a big, big thing, you mm -hmm. know, because we looked around, walked, and mm -hmm. tried to get everybody, you know, mm -hmm. and like, hey, send your sound, let's see what you've done, mm -hmm. uh, until we actually uh, uh, centered in on uh, Teddy B, uh -huh. who was our first producer, uh -huh. and he did a great job. Uh -huh. And from basically Teddy B and all the, the work that he did at that time, mm -hmm. we still have the name, you know, that we are still trying to protect out there. All right. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. All right. So, uh, most people don't know that you were. Uh, recording music back then yeah <laughs> <laughs> you are a recording uh, artist uh, so you uh, understand uh, the business for sure i you see for me it's personal uh -huh. Uh -huh. music is personal I, I i started something i started doing to cure high school funkies and uh -huh. all stuff mm -hmm. when uh, we used to write songs mm -hmm. with a friend of mine his mm -hmm. name is robert he's, he's in the u.s right now mm -hmm. and we used to write songs and uh, during funkies we'll get an opportunity you know mm -hmm. to go ahead and perform and sing and people you will see like how people were getting you know impressed by what mm -hmm. we are doing and, and then right after high school between that time when you're basically getting into college mm -hmm. and and we started now recording i actually went to calif record they had uh, a deal they were used to call it gengemania mm -hmm. gengemania they just uh, they were doing at four thousand mm -hmm. you know uh, and 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 uh, consider the fact yeah it was 4000 uh -huh. consider the fact that actually we had gone to a couple of studios uh -huh. uh, i don't like naming them and uh, some of them were charging us 17000 back then back then you can imagine that uh -huh. was a 205 uh -huh. and then we had this 4000 deal we are like we are going so uh -huh. we went we recorded one song and then Clemo is like, hey, come, keep on recording. Actually, we recorded about a couple of songs. Uh -huh. You know, I can't give the number, but mm -hmm. it was a lot of music. And um, in 2008, I, I left. Okay. I, I went for studies. Uh -huh. And um, at that time, then now, there was this opportunity that I can do something. Right. And that's something actually was me now trying to achieve what I could not achieve mm -hmm. through myself, but through somebody else, right. which is now build a, a, a platform that I can give uh, other artists uh -huh. basically come uh, ahead and basically make it in, in, in the industry. All right. Yeah. The reason I bring uh, your history uh, to the table yeah. here is I'd like to understand, uh, since you have experienced recording with uh, Calif, Calif Records back yeah. then, and now you're running a record label, uh, what are some of the things... Uh, you didn't know back then, and you know right now. <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. You uh -huh. know, when, when you see, I know the mind of a, an artist. Right now, I know the mind of an artist. The mind of an artist is you want to go to the studio today, record your song today, and tomorrow, basically, your song is out, you shoot your video, and you're ready to go, you know, and start making money. But then... Uh, Right now, coming from the industry, I I understand that that's not what it is. Uh, music is a slow process. Mm -hmm. It's not a one-time thing. You uh -huh. know, even the big artists that you see. Uh -huh. I told I, I don't know if I told you, we, we used to be with Kinameja back then. Uh -huh. Uko Kalif. Kwaruf. You know, uh -huh. used to stay Uko Kwaruf. And uh -huh. you find uh, about 20 of us uh -huh. you know, in the Chapa story. Chasing the same dream. Yeah, chasing the same dream. Uh -huh. And, you know, he made it. Uh, we are still trying. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I feel uh, that. But you choose so a good part. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, so the, the, uh, the things you don't know is that music basically needs a lot of patience. Uh -huh. 
I mean patience. Mm-hmm. Uh, music needs a lot of discipline. Mm-hmm. Uh, music basically is not something that you can rush. Mm-hmm. Back then, you'll be saying, why why don't we have a song ready? You mm-hmm. know, we recorded with the song like mm-hmm. in, you know you said you in a week it should be ready. Mm-hmm. And and uh, we, we get those questions right now. But mm-hmm. you know, I try to explain a lot to to the artists and tell them it's not a one time thing. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes we we do the music, we mix mm-hmm. and we master mm-hmm. and then we listen to it and then we are like we need to do something else. Mm-hmm. We can't give it yet, mm-hmm. you know. That's why sometimes you can basically delay you a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's not that we just want to delay you. Mm-hmm. No. Um, apart from that, uh, other things that I would say that is different is the fact that music doesn't give you money immediately. Uh-huh. You it takes know? time. It takes An time. Investment for sure. Music in itself, actually, music is money. Uh-huh. If you don't have money in music, then you must be super good uh-huh. so that somebody who has money uh-huh. will put your money on you. Uh-huh. You see? Uh-huh. So the whole, the, the, the key word is money, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, when it comes Capsule. to music. I'll, uh, but a lot of artists don't know that. You mm-hmm. know, they start uh, just record an audio mm-hmm. and, and put it on YouTube. And put push, it on YouTube. Take it to radio stations. Try to push it on YouTube, and uh, you realize uh, there is a limit to how much you can push. Mm-hmm. You know, because you push too much, then you become a nuisance. You mm-hmm. know. You don't push, then your music doesn't grow. You know, mm-hmm. so th- there's all these other little things that you realize, even even knowing that music itself is not a one-man thing. Mm-hmm. In music, you can't be an island and expect to make it in music. Mm-hmm. You must work with a big team. Mm-hmm. Music uh, is all about working uh, with the management team mm-hmm. that basically can give you strategy. Mm-hmm. Currently, where we are, music is not even about how good you are mm-hmm. or, or, or how talented you are or mm-hmm. all these other stuff. It's all about strategy. We've Sadly, I have to agree. Yeah, we, mm-hmm. We've seen artists who are not very talented, mm-hmm. but they're up there. Uh-huh. And we've seen artists who are super talented uh-huh. and still struggling. You so know? strategy is very important. Strategy is very important. And this is always uh, courtesy of the management team. Because yeah, you can't do it. You can't do it alone. Uh-huh. You can't do it alone. No, uh-huh. no. As an artist, you can't be the artist and be the promoter and be uh-huh. the one collecting the money. And you know. So a team is very important. Very important. These are some of the things you didn't know. You must then. get a team. I didn't I know that. Uh-huh. Nobody, nobody told me. <laughs> nobody <laughs> told you you need a team for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a team is very important very when important. it comes to the music. And... Uh, uh, that is what you're pushing, pushing, pushing. A team, a team, a team. Yeah, yeah. For for us, basically, the way we are looking at music is is a, a little different. I, mm-hmm. I would say there's a couple of people who are basically doing it the same way. Mm-hmm. But we're looking at uh, an artist mm-hmm. as a company. Mm-hmm. You know, this artist is a brand, mm-hmm. is a company in, in themselves, mm-hmm. and, and they must have a team mm-hmm. that supports them. Mm-hmm. You know, the team could basically start from the production team. Mm-hmm. Some of the artists, actually, we get some songwriters, mm-hmm. they write a song for them, mm-hmm. for them they just sing. Mm-hmm. You know, that's part of the team. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need a team to be posting your stuff, the publishing and, you know, and, mm-hmm. uh, and all that stuff. Th- th- that's a team, mm-hmm. you know, you need a, a team to be pushing your music out there, you mm-hmm. know, because mm-hmm. you cannot be an artist, now when you want to a town with your music, mm-hmm. exactly. you know, mm-hmm. a- a- and then we try to make them look professional. Mm-hmm. We don't want our artists running around town, mm-hmm. you know, for them, their work is basically you come, you record the music, you mm-hmm. do the video, and you wait. We tell you to go for an interview, go uh-huh. for a show, you know, uh-huh. uh, go for any other event that you need to go. So the your sole work is to create, 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 and the environment is created for you to create. That, that's the idea. Uh-huh. Uh, you see, uh, in music, is all about creating and being creative. Uh-huh. You know, and, and, and we even give a very ample uh, uh, environment for mm-hmm. artists. Mm-hmm. We moved our studio to basically a suburb mm-hmm. whereby there's no noise, uh-huh. you know. There's no disturbance of any uh-huh. form, uh-huh. you know. You can come any day, you can sit there at uh-huh. night and write music as much as you want. Which is very you good know. for the process. Very, yeah, because that's how creativity works. Mm-hmm. You know. So the artist is number one? The artist is number one, obviously. Mm-hmm. Without the artist, we're not there. <laughs> Without the artist, there's no business. <laughs> there's no business. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, we can end this conversation about uh, the music business without uh, talking about legislation. True. Uh, so first, uh, I have friends in the music industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, they tell me they've been doing music for a while in Kenya. They've been uploading, uh, but this one time they got a chance to do music with uh, to make a song with a with a with a British DJ mm-hmm. who produced the song. They did the vocals. They sent it, and then the the song was released under the label w- in which the producer is signed to. Yeah. And when they got their first check from this one song, mm-hmm. it was bigger than. Everything they've ever and from their music they've been yeah. releasing in Kenya. What is what is the difference? What is the problem? 
you, you see the there's uh, a couple of things eh, uh -huh. that go into that number one um some of uh, our cmos uh -huh. and some of these companies that basically put the music on our platform mm -hmm. they take a lot of money uh, -huh. uh right now uh the middleman you mean the person the who's going to and so put you on streaming sites and actually there are so many uh -huh. You see, you have that guy who come and tell you, I'm going to put your music on Skiza, I'm going to put your music on uh, Boomplay, uh -huh. and, you know, all these platforms. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that guy is already, yeah, mm -hmm. he's already a, a middleman. Mm -hmm. And then this guy, he goes to Cellulant, uh -huh. uh, for example. I mean, uh -huh. there's so many other there. Uh -huh. That's the second one. Because uh -huh. Cellulant is the one now who does the coding for Skiza. Uh -huh. And then he goes to Skiza. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see? Now, when the money comes in, Skiza keeps 70 mm -hmm. percent, uh -huh. you see, which is already killing. Yes, which know? is very, <laughs> it's, killing. it's up for and, debate, and, and, by and the honestly, way. Honestly, these are, these are real figures. Uh -huh. I'm not making figures. They keep 70, they uh -huh. give 30 to, let's say, now Cellulant. Uh -huh. Cellulant keeps 60 uh -huh. out of 30, uh -huh. you see? Uh -huh. and then there's that guy, when you music, uh -huh. <laughs> then for him, whatever agreement you have, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. maybe uh, keeps another 30 percent. You mm -hmm. see, by the time it gets to you, it's probably 6 percent. Uh -huh. Of the total. Of the total. Is uh -huh. It could be less than 6%. And ideally, now, it should be that. And, and you still haven't taken out taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So, right. you see, now, if you made a million, mm -hmm. now you're going to get something like 60K or something. Yes. You know? If you now, made 100,000, it's nothing. It's, it's honestly nothing. Uh -huh. By the time you make 100,000 out of the skis that tunes itself, and that's uh -huh. actually the only one that works. Uh-huh. Live around this so one, far, uh, in that's the one that works so uh -huh. far. Uh -huh. You know, you are talking about six percent. Mm -hmm. Now you saw the other time, uh, MCSK. Uh -huh. You know, they are giving twenty five hundred or something. You know. All right. Now uh, the issue is basically we are not putting the artists first because mm -hmm. as an artist, we are, uh, as as the CMOs, we are supposed to remember one thing: if the artists don't make music, mm -hmm. we are not there. Uh -huh. We are not in business. Uh -huh. And, and so they and should be encouraged to keep yeah, making music. Yeah, they should. Uh -huh. I, I don't see why maybe Skiza, uh -huh. which is Safaricom, basically is keeping 70% for uh -huh. giving us a platform. Because uh -huh. what they give you the platform, they don't manage, they don't basically distribute <laughs> music for you. They yes, don't tell they you. They just give you the yeah, platform. Yeah, you get the right. code and then you're so the that supposed to. For debate. That is one distributor that you have a problem it's, with. For I, sure, I, I it's do, out I in the clear. Because why are you keeping six, <laughs> 70%? <laughs> All right. And I'm the one who was telling my people to subscribe. <laughs> to subscribe, and you're the person who recorded the music. I recorded the music and, and the videos. And All right, so yeah. what do you think is the future of distribution deals to cut out this middleman and everything? How are you guys doing it, or what is the future of it? Uh, the, the future is just one, basically. Uh -huh. Record labels, they be record labels, uh -huh. they do their publishing. Uh -huh. That's it. If Skiza wants your music, they come to the record labels. Uh -huh. They get it directly from there. Uh -huh. It doesn't go through the middleman. All right. Because... At the end of the day, I mean, we're trying to structureize all these other things. Uh, mm -hmm. they, 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 you know, they, even the priest can camp and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there's really no money coming in uh -huh. because there's a lot of people, you know, because Prisk says uh -huh. we have to pay for our uh, the management. All right. The guys, you know. <laughs> Which does not make sense. Yeah. Right. So the record labels need to publish their own music. If, right. if it means creating your own website, uh -huh. do it. Actually, for us, we are basically right now working on that. All right, so yeah. the record label needs to publish their music. Publish your own music. All right, uh, we're living in the age of independent artists. I, I'm pretty sure you've had this term Hello. so many times. Hello. Um, and record labels, e execs don't really like it. They don't like it because uh -huh. uh, you don't want somebody taking uh, part, of the <laughs> part of the business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But uh, what is trending now is record labels given independent artists distribution deals. Mm -hmm. Yes, where you get the artists doing their own thing there, mm -hmm. but they bring the music and then they get distribution deals yeah. to cut out the middlemen so that their money can come uh, in one basket yeah. and then just uh, get their cuts. Is this something you're offering or planning to offer? Actually, we, we, we offer that, mm -hmm. uh, but you see, it's not like what you really want. Mm -hmm. you, you want somebody you bring on board and you can stay with them and mold them, you mm -hmm. know, uh, in the way that you feel that the industry is basically going. Mm -hmm. And when you have a lot of independent artists, you mm -hmm. know, there are people who come here today, next time they are somewhere else. And you see now, even if you're working on a, a strategy, mm -hmm. it's very difficult for you to, to basically uh, right. use it. Working with yeah. somebody like that. Yeah, because mm -hmm. now he's here today, the next time is uh, another record label. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. They tell him something different. Kesho in Guinea is somewhere else, you know. Uh -huh. So it's very difficult for you to follow that process that you're basically working on. Right. So 
it's something we do mm-hmm. we still do it uh-huh. but uh, we always encourage you know somebody to come on board and uh, basically basically people talented artists mm-hmm. come on board and stay with us for give us some time give uh-huh. us two three years or something like that mm-hmm. that we can basically mold you in ways that uh, we have seen things working you mm-hmm. know uh, the industry is um, is is a different animal out mm-hmm. there you know mm-hmm. it, For sure. it's not as easy as you may think uh-huh. with you know. many heads <laughs> yeah yeah it's, uh-huh. it's crazy but uh-huh. uh, the, the the indie guys are there the indie guys are there <laughs> and the industry <laughs> needs everybody yeah, anyway we, uh, basically uh-huh. we need everybody because uh-huh. we also need to find uh, different ideas from, uh-huh. from other people from and other actually people. even a lot of record labels uh-huh. they sign actual artists from the indie guys you uh-huh. know, they will say hey come on i people see people have you're been doing their own thing for a while doing it and you have the stamina you know we see we can make it then uh-huh. if if we give you some little push, some push then we can make some billions so that you don't start from scratch yeah, yeah as sure. always so as an artist out there even if you're looking to get signed or even if you're looking for a for a deal do your own thing that is something do you your own thing uh, because i i won't notice you if i don't see you doing something uh-huh. there is a very little times that i will basically get somebody who has never recorded mm-hmm. and identify that this is actually a very good artist because <laughs> how you know i don't i don't know how do you tell <laughs> i don't know <laughs> how, how do you do tell <laughs> and how many times uh, am i going to be walking around the clubs and uh-huh. trying to you know trying to scout yeah, and find trying to scout uh-huh. and find that guy uh-huh. but w- we have actually found those those artists uh, there's one artist i got from mombasa her name uh-huh. is frida karambo very uh-huh. good in gospel music uh-huh. she released her first song and and um our next song basically they are ready uh-huh. uh, but you know there is those strategies like i said uh-huh. yeah she's very good but as an artist try to do something first before you come to us you know show us i've recorded this and this is how i sound you know because you mm-hmm. give me and voice notes on uh-huh. whatsapp it's <laughs> it's it's kind of unprofessional yeah, it's, send it's, a demo send yeah, something yeah it's not only unprofessional it's also mm. i don't know whether you, re- you recorded that uh-huh. <laughs> okay <laughs> that. You know, yeah it seems you've seen a lot of catfish oh, yeah, in the industry, yeah, yeah, the, the industry. you industry. need to be very careful yeah, yeah all right so that is jumbo sounds records yeah, in a nutshell all right so uh before you g- you get to giving the viewers tips on how they can cash in the in, in the uh, from their music uh, i'd like to know as as a, as a record label exec when it comes to gospel music and secular music mm. uh when it's presented on the table is it all business or gospel music is treated like something different well we just like to know because we keep watching gospel <laughs> artists on tv and yeah. uh, we we don't understand the dynamics sometimes they're here sometimes they're there yeah. uh, so how, how do you treat it as a as a label now uh, look at it this way uh-huh. uh show biz uh-huh. show and then there's the business uh-huh. and like i told you the artist does the show part mm-hmm. they can do uh, they will say you am praising and uh-huh. all these other stuff that uh-huh. they will say that is when the show part when it comes to gospel that's music for the artists. Oh, all right when it comes to us now is the business part uh-huh. and and um you see even church makes business uh-huh. for sure uh, yes you know, kenya kenya is one of the biggest church, yeah, market, yeah, church yeah, markets market, for you know? church uh. so we are not different uh-huh. at the end of the day we basically have to cover expenses mm-hmm. you have to make sure the artist looks good because mm-hmm. if you don't look good people won't even like your music mm-hmm. okay, facts, yeah, facts, yeah you know so the artist will do their show part mm-hmm. and will do the business mm-hmm. at the end of the day it's business at the end it's, of the day it's, it's music business. Business. self-explanatory yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no and, and, no and, need and by the let me tell one thing eh? uh-huh. you you will you will actually sometimes you lay blame on uh, even the gospel artist and uh-huh. say why are they trying to be secular uh-huh. which of course a lot of them are uh-huh. but it's because of the industry that we're operating in uh-huh. there's no money uh-huh. and the artist still needs to eat uh-huh. needs to feed uh-huh. needs to do you know a b c d uh-huh. there is some things that you have to do uh-huh. to make that money Uh-huh. They came here, uh, sacrifices the, our industry is not as structured uh-huh. as it should be mm-hmm. so the money doesn't come as fast as you want it to uh-huh. and you still have to eat uh-huh. so what do you do you know you do some other things to make money thank you very <laughs> much for the insight and thank you very much for being honest <laughs> as we wrap this up uh i'm an artist out there and artist is watching us right now yeah. and uh they make really good music uh the the chances of getting signs uh, signed are very low cuz there are not enough labels in Kenya yeah. tips on how they can cash from their music from as their an music. artist right now as an Kenya, artist yes. right who's not signed or yes let's talk to the artists who are not signed right now uh what what actually i usually tell a lot of artists is uh, mm-hmm. for me there are four major ways mm-hmm. uh, for four major ways i basically classify them into four mm-hmm. the first way 
is basically by putting your music out there. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you promote it. Uh -huh. And you're gonna spend. Uh -huh. There is half a sure. You're uh -huh. gonna spend. Uh -huh. You're gonna spend some money. Push your music out there. Uh -huh. Get it to the radio uh, uh, presenters. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, to the DJs and uh -huh. all these other people. Uh -huh. Get the music out there. Uh -huh. Streaming sites. Streaming sites. Uh -huh. Before you go to the streaming site, uh -huh. I want you to get the money from royalties first, uh -huh. which is not a lot, uh -huh. but it can, you know. Uh -huh. cut some expenses uh -huh. put your music out there so that at the end of the day you may get something from maybe prisk or uh -huh. camp you know because at the end of the day these guys are there uh -huh. they are collecting the money uh -huh. number two after that you do something we call performances uh -huh. try initial ukianza if you are not known uh -huh. you're going to do a lot of exposure shows, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> exposure paid shows yeah yeah uh -huh. and, you know you're gonna do a lot of them but don't do too much uh -huh. because the idea is if you do too much of them you know, dilute the brand. The, the promoters they uh -huh. talk. They'll be. I want to, to. I want this guy to come to my show. How much did you pay him last time? <laughs> Say I paid him by exposure. <laughs> you know, and, and then now everyone is gonna call you by exposure. exposure. You know? All and, right. You know, uh -huh. so you, you have to get a limit of how uh -huh. much you can do for exposure. Okay, man, like you know, at a carbon one can at a mini pan You know, that's good enough. Uh -huh. You know, and then as you keep on going, and your price grows and then from there. Your price in a grow. Uh -huh. You know, so that's number two uh -huh. by performances. <laughs> Number three is basically merchandise. Uh -huh. And merchandise is basically you can create your own brand. Because uh -huh. after you've had all these royalties, your music is playing out there. Uh -huh. You're going to shows, uh -huh. you're creating a brand. Uh -huh. Create your own merchandise, t shirt. Uh -huh. uh, a little t shirt. It doesn't have to be like a super classmate. Uh, no. uh, you know, you and you can always something. start from somewhere. You, can, you have to start actually small. Uh -huh. Make all the stupid mistakes when you're small. Uh -huh. When you grow up, uh -huh. you have done all these mistakes because right. you don't want those mistakes up there mm -hmm. so create your merchandise armbands you uh -huh. know um there's so many places they can go uh, yeah you uh -huh. can even do your own cds and uh -huh. you know compile them especially uh -huh. like the gospel artists you can even have i've seen an artist who did cups yeah yeah you do your own cups uh -huh. you know so you you can data when you're performing is uh, even churches you know churches want to support a lot uh -huh. they'll buy your cds that are going songs and uh -huh. matatu, you know that money can be plowed back to you your can business go back uh -huh. into your business uh -huh. now with all these three uh -huh. what you're looking at is now the big one and uh -huh. this is where the money is uh -huh. basically endorsements uh -huh. Music in itself, even Jay Z doesn't make all the money from just music uh -huh. endorsements. You uh -huh. get like somebody like uh, being uh, sponsored by Nike, you mm -hmm. know, they make that's where the money is. You mm -hmm. know, Size A right now doing a lot of uh, what is doing with the uh, soft care, uh -huh. that's where the money is. Uh -huh. You see, so all this you're doing is actually building you for endorsements, it's leading and to the top of I'm the I'm telling you that uh -huh. the only thing that will work right now is endorsements. Uh -huh. So that's what you're supposed to work with. Uh -huh. So start little. Keep on, you know, keep on growing, growing uh -huh. until you get that level. And endorsements will always come for the big artists. They will always come and for the big, the big artists. And the big artists will always have to start with free shows. You have to uh, start with free shows. With some merchandise on the side That's it. and building the brand. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming Thank through to so Y much. in the morning. Uh, Jumbo, Sound Jumbo Sound Records is the name of the company. Thank you. Uh, how can they get to contact you guys? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm basically on uh, social media. Mm -hmm. uh, Jumbo Sound Rex. Jumbo uh -huh. Sound R E C Z. Uh -huh. Uh, you you, uh, you can get all our contacts basically from there. Uh -huh. Very soon we are launching our website, uh -huh. and the website is basically going to be also streaming music uh -huh. and a lot of music from there. Mm -hmm. And fully uh, fledged music website. Yeah, fully uh -huh. fledged music. We can website. book artists there. We as well. can book artists from that website. Uh -huh. We it's taking a long, a little longer to build, but uh -huh. it's uh, it's on track. Uh -huh. And like I said, we are basically releasing two albums. Uh -huh. uh, one of them by the end of uh, basically in December, uh -huh. and the other one could be around that time or maybe uh, January. All right. Yeah. Thank you. We had a question on our Facebook, and this is uh, this is basically around business as well. Right. How do you prefer your transactions? This is directed to you as well, the viewer. It's on our Facebook. You can comment on the pinned post on Facebook, so we can share it at the end of the show. But we'd like to get to know uh, Cyprian's uh, preference. How do I uh, like your transactions? Is it cash, card, or mobile money? Mobile. I just do mobile money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why? <laughs> it's very convenient. Uh -huh. and, and I can tell you, uh, it's now from the financial planning perspective, uh -huh. it's uh -huh. the worst thing you should ever do. Uh -huh. You should do cash. Uh -huh. You know, when you're paying money in cash, uh -huh. you feel the pain. Uh -huh. Mobile, there's no pain. All right. Card, there's no pain. Uh -huh. Because you don't see it going. Uh -huh. Yeah. So but you advise people to pay in cash yeah. so that they can feel the pain so you feel and the save pain, it. So you save it. <laughs> you, you save more. All right. Thank you very much for the insight. <laughs> I appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and I'm looking to see Jumbo Sounds uh, at the Nairobi Stock Exchange. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, 
We'll, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> You'll keep you updated on that. <laughs> All right. Yes, we've come to the end of our second interview of the day. Uh, Jumu Sounds Records, you can find them on social media as that. We are the CEO and founder uh, on set with us. He gave us some tips on how we can uh, we can maneuver in the music business. We still have another musician uh, for Entrepreneurship Tuesday. So if you're an artist out there, this is that day for you. Alex is coming up next. Don't go nowhere. Don't take that out.